My name is John Tunnicliffe. I'm a lecturer in the School of Environment and I teach in the, uh, the Physical Geography program. Um, the project that I'm currently working on is working with the uh, Department of Conservation, looking at um, uh, the restoration of river systems and uh, restoring uh, diversity of habitat and um, trying to restore some of the morphology that's been um, lost over the years with um, human-induced changes in the river system. Uh, so it's an interesting opportunity to work with a team of ecologists and uh, um, uh, iwi and community groups that are interested in restoring river systems. So far in the course of the work we've um, developed a um, uh, historic record of how the, the river has evolved over time and so we've seen places where the river has lost its um, uh, the, the, its meandering character. Uh, a lot of the, the morphology has been simplified over time and we've seen changes in the uh, the river behavior and so we go back through the historic record to uh, try and quantify those changes and then we use a suite of uh, modeling techniques to uh, look at possible river futures and see how the river may behave uh, in, in the coming years to decades. Well, um, the coolest part of working in the field is bringing students out and exposing them to new um, sampling techniques and uh, analytical techniques and getting out of the classroom and um, getting to do some um, uh, some real work in, in real rivers and understanding the impact of um, uh, both the human impacts on the system, looking at uh, how storms and unusual events have, have changed the character of the system and uh, interacting with community. It's always an exciting and rewarding part of getting out to the field is uh, seeing how people relate to the rivers and um, yeah, gaining some appreciation of how uh, people relate to rivers and how they, um, you know, depending on how they use and, and interact with the river system, what aspirations they have for improving uh, the river going forward. So just as an example of the, um, the kind of work that we do out in the field with students, uh, I'm quite interested in the character of sediments in the river system, so we do a lot of um, uh, sampling of the substrate, looking at the surface gravels and the subsurface gravels, looking at the um, species composition in terms of the, the macroinvertebrates and the uh, critters that live in the interstitial spaces in the riverbed, um, looking at periphyton and uh, algal, algal growth on the, uh, on the riverbed. And coming up with a sort of a summary picture of the, uh, the riverbed health. Um, so yeah, we've got a suite of different tools that we use for that, including uh, we've got uh, a large sampling tripod frame that we use for, for sieving gravels. Uh, we often take drones out into the river system to get a bird's eye view of the, uh, of the river character, and we've got a whole suite of um, survey techniques and technology that we um, we deploy to try and characterize um, the, the topography of the river and the, the energy gradient of the uh, flows, um, as well as some uh, instruments that we have for uh, assessing the, the velocity and uh, sediment characteristics of the uh, of the flowing water. Is there anything else I'd like to share about this project? Um, well, I'm excited about the, um, it's a relatively long-term project by the Department of Conservation. So it's looking at 14 different rivers around uh, New Zealand. And so far we've um, had the opportunity to look at three of them, um, but it's a diversity of uh, river environments and we can see rivers in a, a number of different uh, geological and physiographic contexts and so we can see how the rivers are responding to different environmental conditions and topographic conditions and, and disturbance histories, the uh, legacy of materials that are uh, left in the river system. So it's been a really um, 
exciting opportunity to see, uh, in, uh, the, you know, the, the spectrum of uh, river types across New Zealand. Thanks very much for this uh, opportunity to uh, share some of my research and, and talk about the work that we're doing. Uh, always excited to talk about rivers and I uh, much appreciate your interest in the matter. So please uh, like and subscribe and um, yeah, please follow uh, more updates to come. Bye for now.